service. Ackerman with the kill. Back to an eight point lead. Good play set out of serve receive. Yeah, look at how far McGill has to run. I mean, she's coming from the back row, hiding basically back there. It's a good decoy play. She gets to run all the way off of one foot. I mean, really getting a good, long running start. And it's basically a layup for her going against the one-on-one -on -one block before. Kill the backside, Tangerine Wiggs. Not out of it yet. Texas is eight points away. Florida needs a run now. Monterey is back to serve the sophomore. From a walk on. Going short. Ackerman. Too strong. Almost looked like Eckerman was looking for hands that time on the block. Yeah. The block was already coming down and unable to really connect on that play. Rod gets to his its feet with Monterey serving. McNeil, it's a big dig by Paul. Great set this time by Hannah Allison. Look at how quick it's coming out of her hands. Not as high as we're used to seeing Texas throwing the ball outside to their left side hitters. A good finish by Eckerman. That's a sharp cut on the ball. Long words have all the momentum. Mary Wise needs a timeout. And I went out to the beginning of the Purdue Regional Minnesota defeated Purdue 3 to 1. Nebraska defeated Washington 3 0. Texas erased two set points at the end of the second. Won that set. They've had all the momentum here in this third frame, and it's getting closer and closer to a Texas-USC matchup. These, those two teams met up back in 2007 in Gainesville, as a matter of fact, in a regional. Look at this, number three against number five. Jared Elliott, Mick Haley, we know the history between those two. But the Trojans were outstanding. Three sets to nothing, they hit 373 in the match, over 500 in the final frame, and USC made its way to the next round. They have squared off eight times. USC has the advantage. They won the regional final in Gainesville five years ago. Again, Jared Elliott was the USC head coach, the interim head coach after Lisa Love stepped down at USC. During that time, Mick Haley was coaching the national team for the Sydney Olympics. He had left Texas to go take that job with the national team. And really, while Jared Elliott was the coach at USC, it was kind of saw the writing on the wall that when Mick Haley was done with the national team in 2000, he was going to get the USC job. Jared Elliott did a great job recruiting in 02 and 03 when Mick Haley came up, won a couple of national titles. Jared Elliott, a lot of people think he didn't get a lot of credit that he deserved. And it's not a mean-spirited friendship or a relationship, but it is somewhat acrimonious. That's going to be on display seemingly tomorrow night if Texas can get six points. Raychek has been shut down today. Nine Longhorn blocks. Look at this huge block. Shade ahead, finished the block by Eckerman. It was gonna go out of bounds, but the ball came back so fast that it goes off. The Betsy Smith before it does go down to the ground. So a good play that time by Haley. Now it just seems like Raychek is fighting to see if she could get a kill. I mean, it's difficult when a team has come out and been able to shut down your front line and they've been so dominant and had a lot of blocks here in the third set. As a hitter, you get a little frustrated, maybe try to do a little bit more than you really need to and play outside of yourself. Watch the team to pile up. That's now 10 on the match for Texas. Mon has no kills in this set. Raychek is heading, hitting negative numbers now. We talked about will Mon be in the game when it comes down to the end of the set. And this is huge right now for Florida. 
They have to find the answer offensively. Raychek just got a kill there. They still have to wait until Mon is able to come into the front row again so that they can have that real consistency and that go-to hitter in the game. Net violation, I think. I think they got Eckerman for the net violation. Jared Elliott is asking the down official, Merrill Wager, if Smith kind of swung. You saw Smith in the middle, kind of took a big swing there. Wanting a net violation against Florida. Texas 2 away. What we saw here, this third set, especially Texas players went down as well. As they got more physical on the block. You can see their hitters got more comfortable. There's just less errors in the match for Texas. Palmer. Tough spot. Good effort though from the Longhorns. Florida still alive. Down nine. Sunday Weston gonna check in. Senior out of Naples, Florida. Smith, the senior out of Atlanta, stepping off. Set, or third set for Chloe Bond. She's got 14 tonight. Yeah, and it helped that Brown Ice jump set that ball and cause Cat Bell to jump with the setter and then wide open net left over for Bond. This is what the issue of Texas seemingly has been. Jared Elliott's going to call a timeout. They error themselves into problems. Now listen. They still got a 2-0 lead. They're still two points away from winning this. Well, what did he say last week with Texas A&M? He doesn't want to see letdowns when they have an opportunity to put matches away. It's a, not a letdown, but this is a tough spot. Florida scored five or six. Yeah, it's all about finishing. I mean, you can play so well up to a certain point, but you still have to be able to finish the match. You still have to be able to finish the set and really close out on teams. And they've really put together a great match in general. So now the question is, do we let up? We have to stay aggressive. We need to get back on our block penetration and, and do a good job with our shot selection. We can't hit balls out of bounds just for no reason. You know, we have to make the right decisions when it comes down to the end of the match. Texas two away. But this is the end for Florida. Mary Wise said it at the beginning of the year. Noami Santos Lamb goes down August the 18th in their uh, scrimmage match. And she looks at her assistant Dave Booz and says, if we make it to the NCAA tournament, that might be one of the greatest accomplishments of my career. Well, Raycheck stepped up. Mon stepped into a leadership role. Smith stepped into a leadership role. Players stepped up into roles that maybe they weren't used to. And this is an outstanding run for Florida, which may be com coming to an end. Yeah, there is Noami. Yeah, that was a huge player coming into this season. I mean, she really got some experience, especially towards the end of last year. And that meant that, you know, gave Mon the opportunity to really step up into that position. But Florida's dealt with concussions and mono and illnesses. They've really made their way here. Maybe exceeded some expectations just to make it here to the Sweet 16. Eckerman, the tip. Looks with the save. That's more horns. Who else would you want to have on the service line, but Haley Eckerman. Second of the Big 12 with 41 aces coming in. Take a listen, and if Texas scores here, watch this place erupt. Florida stays 
is alive. Still seven. Yeah, I know, right? Can hear a pin drop for that moment there. Yeah, they know him in every single serve. Seven match points, though, for Texas to work with. Webster for the win. Dug up by Andro. It's what a lot of people wanted to see, and it's what everybody's going to get.